<laughs> it's no tour without a guide. I gotta talk to myself somehow. Anything I can help with, Doc? Seeing as we're going in your father's head and all, some background info would help. Well, he's a retired airline pilot and quite the people person. Worked hard to support the family from the ground up and always made time for us. Although, more recently. But recently what? Well, nothing unexpected at this stage of life, I suppose. Look, I'd rather not write out tombstone texts before they're due. Well, the deadline's getting close. <laughs> uh. Why don't I show you around before your colleague comes back? Maybe that'll help. Sweet. Where's <laughs> me the asking? <laughs> He received a note on the retired pilot. And Asher, Asher joined oh, the party. We get party members! <laughs> so Dr. Neil Watts is our technician specialist at Sigmund Corps. Asher Reeds is the son of Colin and Sophia. Okay, and our yeah, notes. Uh, Colin used to work for the airlines as a commercial pilot. Okay. Meanwhile, I have no idea when this game wants me to be switching, or I'm just gonna... Yeah, it's interesting. It looks like two sections that you can play in any order, but I wonder how much they're going to use this mechanic later on. Mm -hmm. Hey, you got your bear back. Yep, a nice lady in a brown dress swooped into the pond and got it for me. Swooped? Yeah, she didn't even touch the water! Right, uh, please tell your parents to watch your sugar intake. <laughs> you done already? He didn't die on you, did he? No, just forgot something, but gosh, I sure hope not. Which reminds me, what does his heart rate look like? There we go. Uh, okay. <laughs> just scared me for a minute there. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Who's dying, dear? Hmm. Pardon me, ma'am? That code and tag. You're from Sigmund. If you're here, then someone's time is up. Colin Reeds, do you know him? I see. He and his wife used to stroll with my husband and me here every day. Please do your best for him, dear. You sound rather accepting of his fate. After years of seeing everyone around you go, it's hard not to be. But then... You, of all people, should know that well. Damn. Come on. There we go. The file isn't in the car, either. That doofus must have left it in the office. Oh. It is also you. Ava! <laughs> hey, Roxy. Still at the office? Yep. Just waiting on the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're gonna be waiting a while. Not that you'd understand with it opening instantly for you every time. 
What? That's a myth. I wait for elevators too. Yeah? When was the last time it didn't open instantly? Uh... See? You're either freakishly lucky, or... Okay, okay, for Pumpkin's sake. Look, Neil forgot the patient's file. Could you help us out? Okie dokie, pokey lokey. Just give me a moment. Mission accomplished? <laughs> Neil, the file wasn't in the car. Shit. I forgot it at the office, didn't I? It's fine. I called Roxanne. She's gonna find it and send over a scan. Oh. Well, my office is, um, locked. But she should check the printer in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, she's on it. I'm heading back soon. Did you find it, Rox? Yep, it was just sitting on Neil's table. Cool beans, just scan it and... Wait, Neil's table? You're inside Neil's office? Yep, you asked me to get the files, right? Yeah, but Neil said he had his door locked. Oh, a girl's got her ways. <laughs> <laughs> Elaborate. Not like that, silly. I just hacked his electronic lock like a slice of cheese. Oh, How'd you hack okay. a slice of cheese? <laughs> Knowing that one day the mouse might hack the cheese fills you with determination. <laughs> What's he got in his office? Anyway, he's got a broom on the side there. He's got, you know, a little coffee mug. and It looks like he's got under oh, no, the medicine cabinets, aren't they? Don't forget the U-Rock poster. Yeah. Well, uh, just get out of there and send me a scan, would you? Yip, yip, on it. Uh, oh? Uh, Neil? But, oh. Uh, some mystery and intrigue being set up for us. You guys got everything else you need? Yep, Neil's setting up the machine right now. How's the weather out there? Huh? Is it nice out for a drive? It's not bad? Nito, I think I'll just come over and get you the file in person then. Um, what did why? You find? <laughs> just scan it and send it over. It saves time for us both. Well, we've got no patience today, and it's boring here anyway. Anyhow, don't worry. I'll get there before you guys are done. See you both then. Okay, Roxy, have a safe drive. I'm already concerned. Hmm. This music's not helping. <laughs> what an oddball that rocks in. Do we do we not get the switch back over to Neil or? I'll do that next time I get control, I guess. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh there we go. Oh. Maybe I just finished Ava's part, and now we're back to to uh, Neil. Must be because mm -hmm. I don't oh. have the option to switch anymore. Alright. A model of a small fixed wing aircraft. That's a neat piece. Yeah, that's my dad's. So after all that talking myself I did, I guess it's your turn now. It's my turn. <laughs> I guess it reminds him of back when he trained flying those. Parents' wedding photo, huh? Yeah, that's them. I remember being famous about that picture as a kid, but it's kind of sweet that they kept it so well. A pot of homegrown hibiscus. Uh, aren't bees tropical? 
I wouldn't know any better. My mom takes care of them. We've had these around the house for as long as I can remember. That's impressive. I guess it's some kind of family tradition. No. Nope. He received a note on hibiscus. The family kept a pot of hibiscus around the house. Hmm. Ava's gonna love this. <laughs> oh no. Hello? <laughs> code 32, Ava! Code 32! <laughs> Rectify it! No, I don't wanna. Big Nabbit Neil, you know it drives me crazy when people just leave it on the counter. <laughs> Put the toilet paper onto the dispenser. <laughs> Magic word. Put the toilet paper onto the dispenser, please. Well, since you asked so nicely. <laughs> the falcon is in the nest. What falcon? Is the freaking toilet paper on the dispenser or not? That's there as snug as it can be. Thank heavens. Anyway, go get things wrapped up. I'm heading back. <laughs> oh. Dusty cello with quite a few scratches across the board. This is my father's old cello. He played it a lot back in the days. Seems like it hasn't been touched in a while. Yeah, I guess it's hard on the wrists. I usually place the scales though. Not exactly music to be enjoyed. We received a note on the age cello. Okay, what do we have here? Colin plays the cello, apparently not well though. <laughs> an age digital piano. He plays this too. Oh no, this is my mother's. She used to lull me to sleep playing it back in the days. We all have our lullabies. Mine's Beethoven Spiff. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if there's anything upstairs. An apartment with two floors? Reminds me of a double-decker bus. Most of this floor is for maintenance. We just got a little storage room cut out. Sorry about the mess. Seems like they've been doing a lot of cleanup. Hmm. Looks like they missed one. I think I recognize that book. It's been around for quite a while. My dad keeps it taped up. I guess he didn't want to throw it away. Yep, it's taped up alright. He doesn't want anyone to read it, huh? Well, un under normal circumstances, I'd say to leave it alone for privacy sakes. But he did sign up to become your Alliance, so I, I don't know. I say unseal and open. Yep. Open yes, it. definitely. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> For the sake of science and um, the, the client. Hmm. 
Holy crap! What? What is it? Nothing. Huh? L literally nothing. It's just a bunch of blank, wrinkled papers. <gasps> Holy crap! That's the freaking freaking bookie used in a bird story. Oh my god! Oh it is! wow! Yeah. Seems like they were just glued back to the spine too. Oh my god. That's odd. You know, a bird story is odd. If bird story is <laughs> canon, <laughs> like if any of that stuff like actually happened, <laughs> then uh Uh yeah, we're we're gonna have some issues. <laughs> <laughs> it's been around for ages, though. Maybe whatever was on there faded? I suppose. But either way, I can't do much with this as is. <sighs> Let's look somewhere else. We received a note on the green book. It's filled with blank pages. Yep. Mm. Oh, actually, there's something else that might help you prepare. Hmm? Here's a family photo album. Goes way back. Oh, this is a this is the remix of the what's that song called? Um, I think it's called "Having Lived" from "To the Moon." Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's that song again, but it's like the cello version. Oh, this is pretty. Thanks. Never too early to feel like a grandma. I'll go check on my father then. My colleague will be back soon, so I should go get the machine ready, too. But I'll flip through this a bit first. Aww. Aww. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> the bottom right. <laughs> hmm. 